Some of you may have seen the 2010 movie called The King's Speech, which was a true story about Britain's King George VI, who learned how to conquer his speech impediment with the help of a controversial speech therapist. Having just seen it again recently, it reminded me that we too, as Christians, worshipers, and members of the body of Christ at All Saints have speech impediments that may keep us from proclaiming the good news and speaking with prophetic voices. We may not stammer like King George VI, but we can find ourselves tongue-tied for a variety of reasons. We gather as community for speech lessons, for training, to help us gain the confidence to share the words that God has given us. Where do we receive this training? Well, in our weekly worshiping community of Agape and Eucharist, during our Friday morning prayer, Zoom gatherings, during our Monday morning Bible study, during our Wednesday morning knitting groups, during our weekly duties to prepare the altar, during our Frank times, which will start again monthly in February. These are all opportunities to help us gain the confidence to share the words that God has given us so that we may engage the world in and beyond All Saints because of our deepening faith. On Sunday next, we will gather for our annual meeting where we check in with each other on the life and work of our community directly after worship. We will also pass a budget and elect vestry delegates for the upcoming year. We will do a quick review of the successes and learnings of the year past. So I ask you to pay attention to the times that we have gathered for speech lessons during the last year. Pay attention also to the hopes and dreams before us where speech lessons will be helpful as we move forward to share the words that God has given us to engage in and beyond the world at All Saints. 2022 is a new year. Look for waffles and listen for more singing voices. Let us rejoice and be glad in it.